hello everyone how are you and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are coming across this channel for the first time you are highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always showing up my name is Tinenye, and this is ajamat farms so you must have heard me talk about this method of pig pen no smell pig pen it can less time i did a video on its benefits if you've not seen it kindly go and check it out and if you want to know how to construct it, then keep watching. So these are the materials needed for the construction of our no smell pig pen. We have our blocks and this strong wood here is a danta wood used for demarcation of the pen. Very strong, durable, resistant to termites. Apart from the fact that it's way cheaper, it also encourages free flow of air. But if you are buying this, please make sure you are getting it from a trusted vendor because they are of many types and you should get the original one. We also have our nails. So here, measurement is ongoing. Measurements and foundation. So at the end of the day, we'll have something like this. This is a lactating pen where the pregnant ones will stay. You can make yours to be bigger than this. Okay? Get the foundation, yes? Okay, make all this foundation. Uh -huh. Give us space like this. They give here, they go. Make you no touch it. So now the rubbers are digging out the pen. Okay, now the depth should be between three to four feet. The deeper, the better. And we should dig it all around. One of the things that most people believe is that pig pen stinks. But this type of pig pen, known as the no smell pig pen, or the odorless pig pen, or the deep lifter system, is a very very different type of pig pen it is a system whereby the waste products which are the dunks and the urine are being biodegraded by those indigenous microorganisms which will be cultured beneath the pen this system of pig farming eliminates odor it eliminates flies it is easy to maintain and it's also very cheaper to manage so here we are trying to make a hole where we will fix our nipple drinker. The nipple drinker helps to provide clean water and also prevents contamination. As you can see, the nipple will be mounted on the wall. Now after digging the pen, the pen should be like 4 feet like I said earlier. Now it's time for one to lay these logs of wood. Now, this should be done very carefully and at a very close range. The logs of wood and also the leaves, they form the foundation of the IMO. These leaves help to quicken the decomposition. Now, the indigenous microorganism, the leaves of these decay leaves, they feed on them. So, when we are done laying the wood, as you can see, it was laid on a very, very close range. Then you can go ahead to spread these leaves. Now, like some of us know that with this method of pig pen, now, like some of us know that this method of pig pen doesn't require constant cleaning. You just have to take out some of the wood shavings once in a while. So this is one of the reasons that makes this method of pig farming very very easy so you have to use the energy to clean your pen daily to do something else okay so we're still laying the beddings with more leaves now the leaves should cover the wood very well Live life every day let it die not okay all i want 
and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving Now we also like to need charcoal, just few of it This charcoal it. provides carbon to the pen now when we are done carefully laying the beddings with logs of woods and then leaves it will now be time for us to start pouring the sawdust this sawdust is very very affordable in some places it is even free okay so it's time for us to start pouring it on the bedding now you have to pour it to it's well covered it covers the whole leaves the whole wood now in each of this pen we used about 60 bags of sawdust at this point we are just pouring in about five bags so to ensure that we covered the whole pen and bring it up to this level we used about 60 bags of sawdust you can use less but that's the quantity we used as you are pouring ensure that you are spraying evenly be careful to avoid getting injured with any sharp objects so this thing i'm doing here you can use rake using rake will be far easier for you but because there is no rake here i have to use my leg so if you pour a few bags of sawdust you just spray it it will be easier than for you to pour a large quantity of bags and to spray at once okay living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think At this point you just sprinkle a little charcoal. And when you are done with that, keep on pouring in more dust. As I've said earlier, the charcoal provides carbon to the microorganism. They feed on it and it's very helpful to them. Okay? Sprinkle a little quantity of charcoal and keep on pouring in more dust. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me, and honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it. So, this is us trying to introduce piglets into the pen. You can see the outcome of the pen, you can see what it looks like. Okay, you can see that the dust is up a little. It was able to cover the whole place okay look at it here look at how beautiful it looks so we are putting in more piglets into the pen the piglets have a new home now and I'm sure that by the time they get acclimatized with this environment they will be happier because this pen is quite warm quite comfortable and very beautiful as you can see so we are introducing more piglets. They are still scared. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it anything. So I'ma just keep buying everything. See you in the next life. Have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an X-ray. What's wrong with me? Now, if you look closely, you will see their feeding trough. Some of them are eating already. Now, some people construct a wallowing trough in this pen. So by the time they get heat up, they will just go to the wallowing trough and have a cool bit. But in this case, this their maple drinker, where we will have a trough there, there is usually water remnants there. So they can just go there and then have a bit. I'm sure you gain value. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time we post a new video. Like and share this video and drop your opinion down the comment section. See you in my next video.